Die Hard with a Vengeance originally had a very different ending, and in fact, there was another ending that never even got filmed as well. But the first ending that they had didn't really keep in line with the rest of the Die Hard series. It wasn't action-packed enough, so that's why they ended up reshooting it. It cost the studio a boatload of money. So we'll get to that in a minute, but the first one I want to get to here with you, Lan, is the ending that did not happen, that was never even filmed. This okay. one was on the cutting floor very early on. So in this ending, as John McClane and Zeus swim to safety after the boat explodes, you know, remember at the very end of the movie there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Zeus complains that Simon got away. McClane says, not so fast, as the camera then shows him in a helicopter with a group of terrorists, and then that briefcase from the fountain bomb in Central Park is in the helicopter with them. <laughs> Simon makes the comment, does anyone have a four-gallon jug? And then, boom! <laughs> the helicopter explodes. Like That would have been a kind of a cool ending, right? That would have been a cool ending, yes. So that one never even got shot. But what ends up happening in the actual movie is Simon gets caught at the border and he dies in a helicopter crash uh, in this alternate ending that was filmed. This one was filmed before the actual ending that we all know is that he escapes with all the gold. Like He's gone. Mm. He's like a fart in the wind, man. Nobody knows where he went. So we flash forward a couple of years in this ending. McLean finally tracks him down to a bar in Hungary. And he was able to find him because of the bottle of aspirin that Simon gave him earlier in the movie. Remember where he's like, I got a splitting oh, headache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He mm -hmm. tosses that bottle of aspirin. McLean's able to use that bottle of, of aspirin, tracks it down to a store that's right down the street from this bar in Hungary where Simon is now at. So McLean shows up. He's got a rocket launcher with all of the markings removed so you can't tell which way it's going to fire. I mean, it's just truly, it just looks like a, almost like a pipe bomb. It's just a tube. Mm -hmm. And he says that he wants to play, McLean says. And then he starts asking Simon riddles. Each answer that he gets correct, he can turn the rocket whichever way he wants. Again, he can't tell which way it's going to fire, but based on maybe how it, like it feels, he would be able to judge, assuming he'll know which way it's going to fire. Yeah. So I'm going to, Lane, I'm going to give you the riddles now, and we're going to see if you can guess them. Okay. I'm not going to go through them as fast. Again, if you want to, if I remember, uh, if I remember, uh, down below, I will link to the alternate ending so that you guys can go watch it for yourself. It's pretty good. I mean, I I enjoyed watching it, um, but I'm not going to go as fast as they do in that ending for you, Land, because it's like it's pretty rapid fire. Because I'm slow. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go as fast as he does, except you don't have the threat of being blown up by a rocket launcher. Or do I? A plane crashes on the Texas-Mexico border. Where do they bury the survivors? The, they're survivors. They wouldn't be buried. hey -o! Simon says, you don't bury the living. I don't know if that was an attempt at a Simon accent or not. I don't, I won't even try to do Jeremy Irons again. All right, next one. A cowboy rides 18 hours into town and 18 hours back, all on Sunday. How does he do that? On a horse. But it's all on Sunday. 18 hours in, 18 hours out. Oh, well, I mean, he stayed there for a week. That technically would work. I mean, that's a viable <laughs> answer. I'll give it to you. Okay. What's the actual answer? The horse's name is Sunday. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this one, I think, was specific to John McClane because he says uh, that he busted two robbery suspects. The youngest was the father of the other one's son. How does that work? Two robbery suspects. The youngest was the father of the older one's son. of the older one's son. So basically, it's of the two of them. Oh. One of them is the father of the other one's son. Well, he's like a stepdad to... He was banging his... Uh, the older one's wife. I, I mean, it could count, but it could also be that the other one was the wife. Oh, yeah, that could be <laughs> it, too. 
That's kind of that's women that, don't rob banks. That's, that's kind of Bonnie and Clyde, baby. Bonnie <laughs> and Clyde. Um, that I mean, that's kind of like that old riddle where um, a, a father and son get into a horrific car accident. The father passes away on the scene. The son gets rushed to the hospital. The doctor comes out and says, "I can't operate on this boy. It's my son." And there, and it was a way to show how our brains would work. Where immediately we thought the doctor would be a male, and it was like, "Well, no, the doctor is yeah. the mom." So. See, we're all sexist. Everybody's a sexist son of a bitch. All right, here's the last one. And I'm, I might just give you this one because this one, I'm not necessarily, like, this one really didn't make a lot of sense when I was watching it. But okay. a good guy and a bad guy are sitting in a bar. The bad guy brings a bottle of brandy. The good guy brings a bomb. Only problem is the bad guy neglects to bring something that could could have saved his life. What does he forget? And you're going to spend a bunch of time trying to think about this one. And this is the one that Simon gets wrong because he blurts out the antidote to the brandy. And at that point, that's when McLean says, like, eh, you're wrong. So then he, you know, um, Simon sits there. And he's like, you, you know, you, you got you to gotta light it or you got to fire the rocket launcher. Simon spins it one more time. He's like, yeah, that's it. I want it. And then he does it and the fucking thing goes, it goes right through his chest and, and kills him right there in front of McLean. So the McLean stands up and he goes, his, his uh, flak jacket. He forgot his flak jacket. Yeah. That Which again, it didn't really make, make a ton of sense. <clears throat> but here we go. Here's the big riddle from Die Hard with a Vengeance. You have a five gallon jug and a three gallon jug. You need exactly four gallons how do you get to that? Have you ever been able to figure this one out? No. Do you want I me remember. I'm going to walk you step by step. Wait, wait, wait. no. Well, hang on. Let, let me, let me, let me attempt. Okay. Right. I remember. So I remember when this movie came out and my brother and his friend, Mike, were trying to figure this out. And I swear, I remember this conversation and I thought they figured it out. But now I can't remember. <laughs> so let's it's, see. I mean, it's actually it's um, I just I typed out all of the steps and there's six total steps to get to it. Six total steps. Yes. You, you fill up the five gallon. That's step number one. You you pour it into the three gallon. That's uh, step number two. That leaves you with three gallons. You take. No. Well, hold on. What do you mean that leaves you with three gallons? Because you have three gallons in that three gallon jug. Okay, but what about the everything five else will jug? spill out? No, you could you when it's filled, you stop. Ay. You're right. That was so. So that leaves gallon. you with one gallon. There are two gallons. I'm sorry. How's that math treating you, buddy? I was never good at math. Yeah. So you pour the five gallon into the three gallon. So now you have two gallons in the five in gallon the five jug. Gallon. In the five and gallon jug. Three gallons. And then you take three gallon and you drink one gallon. How are you going to know it's one gallon? <laughs> because point. your teeth will tell you. Do you, um, give, do you want me to give you the next step? Yeah. Okay. This hurts so, my brain. Okay. So you have two gallons left in the three gallon jug and the three gallon jug is filled. Empty the three gallon jug. Just completely empty it. It's gone. So now you, you only have an empty three gallon jug and two gallons in the five gallon. In the jug. five gallon. So you pour the five, the two gallons into the three gallon. Okay. And then, so you have two gallons in the three gallon. Uh huh. This is step three, right? Or this would be you're step on step four. four. Uh, empty uh, step three was empty the three gallon jug. Step four. So then you, f you're. The, I mean, the only other thing you could do would be to to fill the five gallon. Okay. So now you have a five so gallon you have jug two, filled up. So and then you pour that into the three. That leaves you with four. That's it. I'm a genius. Did you get that? All right. So really quick for I anybody can, who didn't follow that trick, <laughs> who didn't. At least Central Park. For anybody who didn't uh, follow that train of thought, so here's what you do. So you fill up the five-gallon jug. You pour the five-gallon jug into the three-gallon, which leaves you with two gallons 
in the five gallon jug. This would be a lot easier if I actually had something to show you guys here. You then empty the three gallon jug. So you have an empty three gallon jug, two gallons in the five gallon jug. You then take those two gallons, pour it into the three gallon jug, leaving you with one gallon of empty space. Fill up the five, fill, and then you pour the five into the three until it's filled up. That leaves, like that's one gallon going out of the five into the three, which leaves you with four gallons in the five gallon jug. I don't know if anybody actually followed that or not. Um, and quite frankly, I might have visuals with this because over here, but I do all that stuff after the fact and it depends on how much time I have. So I may or may not have uh, visuals over there. Hopefully I do so that it's less confusing for you guys. But if it's not, good luck. Best of luck on saving New York City and Central Park. All right, a lot of future videos coming up here. I do know that Land and I, we're gonna get to the big show uh, coming up here in a little bit. And um, this, uh, I believe that this video was actually in place of a History of Rock episode because I, we went back to back with Die Hard. But remember, down below, click like, subscribe, click the bell so you get the notifications when we go on live. It does a lot for us. When you guys do click like, it does help a lot more than you think. So especially if you don't have uh, money to donate or you don't want to purchase things, but you want to support the channel, that is a really good way to do it is to like it. And then also if you like share it on social media, that's also a big way mm. that you can help. But a lot of future videos coming up. Say goodbye, Alan. Bye-bye.